And I, I understand you're involved in several boards in terms of uh, UN national grade and, and national level and world level uh, standards. Yes, sir. So, I mean, AmeriCase has to be on the forefront of what's going on. I mean, from the fire safety codes that are coming down that are being adopted in 2024 that are already in New York and California right now, um, all the way to the regulations that are going to be pressed upon everybody that deals with lithium-ion batteries. One of them is the UN uh, uh, subcommittee on the reclassification of lithium ions and metal cells. Right now, when you talk about lithium uh, ion cells, it's basically a battery in equipment, out of equipment. Equipment is it uh, lithium ion or lithium metal? Oh, or okay. in you know the dangerous goods worlds so of let's say explosives, there could be a thousand different categories of something between TNT and fireworks, right. between alcohol and pure 100%. Uh, liquid uh, nitrogen all these things are categories to understand how to transport them safely the battery world hasn't caught up to that so we're writing right. regulations to say okay this battery might be very inherently safe and it doesn't need much packaging where this one is very volatile when it goes into rapid disassembly or thermal runaway and you need to have a very robust packaging to guarantee that it can contain it both on transit and road rail sea and even potentially air so we are writing those regulations right now and then we're also on the SAEG 27 board where we're actually coming up with packaging standards to allow batteries back on airplanes uh -huh. outside of equipment. So it gives the consumers more uh, lenience for shipping their batteries for just-in-time delivery. Well, you also deal with like oxygen generators or other risky products? The risk of oxygen on airplanes. So, Well, because again, all airplanes have it. The problem is moving around the unused or partially used or whatever. And the regulators actually proposed some of the strongest packaging that's ever been written. I mean, we're talking 17 hour, uh, 1700 degree flame penetration test. Oh my God. Extreme drop testing. I mean, to ship an oxygen cylinder right now can cost you up to $1,000 for a package. Seriously. Sometimes the cost of the package is more than the bottle itself. But if you oh have God. to ship it by air, you have to put it in a container that we designed. That's, yeah, perfectly safe. That makes absolute sense. Um, how do how do companies stay informed? I mean, I got like you say, the challenge is these things are changing all the time. The products are changing all the time. What they're made from is changing all the time. Their form factors. How does the company keep track? Call my friend here, Chris. All right. Like I said, he sits on those uh, subcommittee boards. He's the, he's the foremost authority on this. To, to be honest, you can't stay informed. There's certain of certain some companies that we deal with have individual hazmat experts that do nothing but that. But that's sure. the one person in a billion dollar company. Right. There's organizations that you can join, but usually when you partner with us, we're going to consult with you. We're going to keep you abreast of the situation. Half of my job is tra traveling all over the world, trying to understand what are the regulations today? What have they been in the past? What are they going to be in the future? We're problem solvers. We're willing to attack any issue and uh, give you some kind of a packaging or container yeah. source.